was born in Sweden uh, some uh, 38 years ago. Please, that's old. Um, and uh, I've since moved to Poland, where I've lived for 10 years, and I run this company called Other Source, which is, uh, which is which is an interactive agency that services other advertising and interactive agencies around the world, and also some direct clients. Very cool. That's it. Uh, I got that. One thing that I know that we did touch on that I don't know if you want to try to uh, put in there that I could pose as a different question, and I could just put in there was the fact that number one, the site is flash based, but it is trackable by the line. And number two, that yes. it's printable. And um, if you wanted to touch on those aspects, sure. I could ask uh, a quick question about that. Sure, you, you could just ask, you know, if there's anything else that's unusual about it except for the obvious, you know, something like that. Okay. Okay, yeah, let's do that in three, two, one. Okay, so when, hold on, it's not recording. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, so with the McKinney site, besides the bot, the conversational engine, are there any other aspects of it that make it unique to what we're seeing today? Yes, I think uh, there are several things that, that are quite interesting here, and uh, first is the fact that we're trying to serve information in, in very many different ways. For instance, um, if you go to the site with a mobile phone uh, or any mobile browser, it will automatically show you the mobile version of the same content. And if you um, think about flash sites, one of the drawbacks with flash sites is usually that um, you can't bookmark specific views and you can't go back and forth. and they're not, they're opaque to um, Google and other search engines. Well, McKinney.com is different. So actually, all of the content in McKinney.com is indexable by Google, even though it's a flash site. You can bookmark any view of the site, and literally any view. Um, and you can print any view. And if you, uh, you want to print, what the site does, it actually generates a nice looking PDF and takes the same content and lays it out differently so that it will look nice on a piece of paper. And um, on top of that, um, well, it's quite smart. It, it will, if you search for something with Google and you find something on McKinney.com, uh, uh, the link will actually take you to a page which will identify what you're browsing with. And depending on that, you will either see the mobile version, the flash version, um, or a text version. So it's, it's serving all of this content in different ways, and it's, um, it's uh, totally Googleable, which is, I think, very important today. It's almost imperative, because I know that's the only search engine I use, and I think that they've got, what, like 71% of total searches in the U.S.? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, I think that's, the, that's true around the world, but it actually, McKinney.com will be indexable by any search engine out there. That's very important. Thanks, Jonathan. It's, um, it's, uh, it, it felt good. I don't think so. It sounded great. Not before Wednesday, right? Yeah. So you can check it out. Well, um, just one word there, uh, Jonathan. Um, McKinney would much appreciate if you could hold posting until Wednesday when their big email push is going out. 